Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for spending some of your time with me today. We have a very interesting topic for you to enjoy, so please remember to leave a like, comment on the video, and subscribe if you haven't done so just yet. And most definitely, share this video with everyone you know. I just spent the entire day watching basketball highlights, and as I usually do, I begin to think about the Golden State Warriors and how blessed we have been to have such incredible talent on the roster over the last couple of years. I've decided to make a video about one specific player that has captivated basketball fans all around the world. This player is one of the Splash Brothers. And no, it is not Steph Curry. This may come as a big surprise to you, but I'm going to focus on the second half of the Splash Brothers unit in this video today. This video is going to be all about Klay Thompson. All on Klay Thompson like magical, impossible things that Klay Thompson has managed to do since he entered the NBA. Klay was drafted by the Golden State Warriors as the 11th overall pick in the 2011 NBA Draft. The Golden State Warriors are often praised for developing such a great crop of homegrown talent without having to trade for players before they got Kevin Durant. What I am trying to say is that the Warriors pretty much drafted all of their core pieces before they required KD. Recently, I did a video about how six players managed to get drafted before Stephen Curry in the 2009 NBA Draft. I think I may have to do another one about how 10 players got drafted before Klay Thompson in the 2011 draft. In the 2011 draft, players like Derek Williams, Tristan Thompson, Jan Veasley, and pretty much the entire crop of players before the 11th pick with the exception of Kyrie Irving and Kawhi Leonard would not be drafted before Klay Thompson if the draft was done over today. Since he entered the NBA in 2011, Thompson has made the NBA All-Rookie First Team in 2012, he won the NBA three-point contest in 2016, he made an All-NBA defensive team in 2019, and he made an All-NBA team twice. These All-NBA team selections were in 2015 and 2016. He was selected as an NBA All-Star from 2015 to 2019, and one of his most important accomplishments is that he has won three NBA championships. For a player that is just about at his peak and still has a lot more years to go in his NBA career, if he can remain healthy, Clay has managed to put together one of the most impressive resumes of any player currently playing in the NBA. Given the fact that Clay Thompson is not exactly one of the best physical specimens in the league, standing at 6 feet 6 inches and weighing in at around 215 pounds, he is definitely a force to reckon with on the court. Come to think of it, most of the greatest players to be considered as goats were 6 feet 6 inches. Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant are both around 6'6". Is there something about being 6'6 six, six and its synchronization with greatness? Guys, I'm really thinking about that 6 feet 6 inches thing. MJ and the Black Mamba are both 6'6", playing at the shooting guard position. Does this mean that Klay Thompson will be so great in a few years that he will also be considered as a GOAT in the future? I'm just looking at the similarities. Wow, Klay Thompson can actually be one of the greatest players if destiny has anything to do with it. Unfortunately, Klay Thompson lost an opportunity to make over $30 million extra on his contract when he didn't get selected for an All-NBA team in 2019. But he said he dealt with it by thinking more about his opportunity to compete for a championship than thinking about the money. You see, him being a part of such a great all-time team meant he had to sacrifice touches and his numbers. This affected his chances of being selected. Honestly, guys, I don't know how true that was about the championship over the money because $13 million is an incredible amount of money, championship or not. To rub salt into that wound, the Warriors didn't win the championship that year. Oh my. This part of the video is getting a little bit sad. Let me change the topic. For this video, I really wanted to take a look at what other NBA players and legends had to say about Klay Thompson and his effect on the Golden State Warriors and the NBA in general. It is no secret that Klay Thompson is now currently injured and this has significantly weakened the Golden State Warriors' chances of winning a championship. But I am still hoping that some way, somehow, these guys can pull things together at just the right time and make a definitive run towards that trophy. One of the first players that we have sharing their thoughts on Klay Thompson is Steve Kerr. I mean, past player. Yes, guys, Steve Kerr played in the NBA. Come on, I can't believe some of you still don't know this. 
But as usual, my videos are always educational. So Steve Kerr said that there aren't many people out there who have Clay Thompson's size, strength, and defensive versatility. In addition to those things, Clay Thompson has an incredible scoring ability. Steve Kerr works with Clay Thompson closely day to day, so he is one of the most qualified people to share such an opinion about him. Clay is often said to be a great defender, and everyone knows that this guy is always going to be mentioned when you talk about top shooters in the history of the NBA. Something that some of us may not 100% appreciate about Clay Thompson is his strength. I mean, think about it. For Clay to have the physical capabilities to put up so many three pointers accurately and then have the defensive presence that he has on a nightly basis, he must be quite a strong player. Clay, hit me up, man. Whenever you are going to the gym, I'll be your free gym partner and assistant. I'm in no way concerned about the free gym membership that I'll get with it. I'm not even thinking about bragging to my friends and the ladies I know, Clay. Nah, man. I just want to come and work out with you. Oh, the ladies, Clay. Hit me up, man. There are no gyms on my block. When Jason Tatum just entered the NBA, he was asked which player he has the toughest time guarding, and he mentioned Clay Thompson. This might be a surprise for a lot of you out there that a player that is playing against the guys like LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, Joel Embiid, Kawhi Leonard, and almost all the top 20 players that one would mention. Jason Tatum said out of all these guys, Klay Thompson was the most difficult for him to guard. He said that Klay Thompson would always place two hands in his chest, push him off, and then go around the screen. Jason Tatum also mentioned that Klay never stays still. It is incredibly difficult to guard a player that is always moving. Being a basketball player myself, I can definitely testify. There's this guy at the park that whenever he comes on my court, my cardio gets worked to the limit. I mean, this guy never stops moving, even during timeouts. It's insane. Anyway, Charles Barkley says that Klay Thompson has the most beautiful form on his jump shot and that he is a huge fan of Klay Thompson. Chuck is a living NBA legend. He may not look like he played in the NBA as of right now, but then again, most of them retired guys don't. But Charles Barkley was one of the greatest to ever do it. Guys, why is it that so many past NBA players got so big and out of shape after they retired? I guess it's just that good life showing on them. In a playoff series a few years ago, Shaquille O'Neal complimented Klay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors. Shaquille O'Neal is one of the harshest critics of current players, so it is big when he said that Klay Thompson knows how to do the Garden Chick-fil-A. Shaq says weird stuff sometimes, so I'm not exactly sure what that meant here, but I'm guessing that he meant Klay Thompson was approaching the game with a veteran's perspective and doing a lot to help his team win. Two of the greatest NBA players, I mean really, really, really great, said something really good about Klay Thompson a few years ago. Scottie Pippen and Tracy McGrady said they were surprised that Klay Thompson didn't make an all-defensive team a few years back. They both said that Klay Thompson took it on himself to guard the opponent's best players, and Tracy McGrady said he was shocked because he thinks Klay Thompson is one of the best two-way players in the NBA. Kenny the Jet Smith said Klay Thompson should have made an all-NBA team in 2019 because he simply wins rings. He said that Klay Thompson plays well under pressure because he plays well with more responsibility. After Klay Thompson broke the record for the most three-pointers in an NBA game when he shot 14 three-pointers in one game, Isaiah Thomas tweeted that Klay Thompson is the best shooter ever. Man, 14 three-pointers in one game. That's just absolutely silly. And what's even sillier is that his partner in crime is also known as the best shooter in NBA history. God, Klay Thompson is a scary dude. And when he gets back from his injuries, we ain't going to be just talking about how scary the dude is. We'll be seeing it on a nightly basis. God bless America.